you are welcome to the next section. Link to the previous section will be up here and also in the description below. Now let's try it out from an actual form interface. So I have some simple HTML files here. So let's add them to the project and try it out. I'll provide a link to them in the description below. So to add them inside the project, we create a views directory. Inside the views, we copy and paste our files. Now that we have the files, let's create a root route and we'll set this to point to our form. So this will be a get route. Now over here, we want to return our HTML files, but we need to do a few things first. To be able to return the HTML files properly with all the CSS styles available, we need to specify that to express as static files, so let's do that. The first thing we need to do is to bring in path. Now over here, we specify the location of our static files. So make use of app.use. All we need to do is to specify the directory and our directory is views. Now let's enable course access. Remember we installed the course package in the beginning. Let's make sure we spell it right. Now back in the route, let's return the HTML files. So we make use of response.send file. We'll use the path model that we imported to specify the path to our files. So the first will be the directory name. This will be resolved by Express into the current directory. As the next argument, we pass the location. And as the form, we return the index.html file. Also, once the message is successful, we want to return the success page, which we have here. So we'll do the same thing for the success block. So we place the JSON object here. We change the index to success. Now let's visit the index.html file and see if everything is fine. So the first thing we check is the action of the form. It has to point to localhost port 5000 and the send mail endpoint. And the method has to be post. Now we have to check the names of the input fields. We need a to field, a subject and a message. So as we can see, everything is fine. Now to see the output of this, we need to visit localhost port 5000 in a browser. Now we see the output of our form. So let's try sending an email. Now before proceeding to send the mail, let's make a change in our code editor briefly. Under the body parser section, we need to add another thing. Let's make a slight change to what we have here. Now we are good. If we don't do this, we will not be able to access the data from the HTML input forms. So once we have it done, let's try sending our email. So we provide the email address of the receiver. And we provide the subject. Now on sending, 
we see that email has been sent is displayed here meaning our email has been sent successfully now let's check our inbox inside the inbox we see that we have a new message and it is exactly as we sent so now we've seen how to send emails in Node.js using NodeMailer. If you like this video and now you know how to send emails in Node.js, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you would like to know how to apply this email process to a login system whereby the user will be sent an email after signing up, please leave that in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.